Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing great. In this video right here, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Rancher. So what is Rancher? Well, I mentioned in the previous episodes tool and workflow review video, uh, how I use Rancher to basically control my entire workflow. Um, in here, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, what I have set up. And then basically, in the next couple of videos, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to first set up Rancher, how to get um, how to boot up machines in Rancher, and then how we're going to get the services running and how to get our application deployed uh, using Rancher. So um, the next couple of episodes are not going to be free. I'm going to start releasing some member exclusive content. Uh, I just wanted to point out as well that, you know, Codemy is a business. And, um, you know, so far we've been releasing all our content for free, but we're going to start doing more exclusive content. Um, you know, because we need to be able to support our business and hire more people to help us make more content, to make things better for you guys. This video is going to be free and the setup video is going to be free, but the subsequent videos, uh, I, you know, urge you guys to subscribe, become a member and support us so that we can bring more amazing content to you guys. Um, so, uh, basically I'm going to do an overview here of Rancher. So this is what it looks like. I have, I'm in my staging environments, uh, right here. Uh, and what I have here is the staging for the Codemy site. So this is how I test my deploys. I also have the test environment and this is how I run my drone service. And this is where my CI, my continuous integration server runs. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to set all of this up. And uh, if you take a look at the tools and uh, workflow overview, uh, when I, you know, from GitHub, when I do a pull request, I basically just merge the pull request and it automatically deploys and tests my code uh, into my infrastructure. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys my infrastructure here. So I have only uh, one machine booted up here in the test environment. Um, so I'm going to switch over to staging. So the one I'm showing you guys here is a, an older version of Rancher. I've been using it, it has no problem. So I didn't care to upgrade, but the one I'm going to be working through with you guys is the latest and the greatest. Um, so this is the staging environment and I can show you guys the machines that I have running my, uh, my, my, my staging application. Uh, so basically, um, what it is, is, um, you know, it's just allows us to manage, uh, our machines, um, you know, like if we have a VPS running on DigitalOcean or Linode, uh, we can manage them all using, um, you know, Rancher here. And, you know, it allows us to basically manage our application stack. So as you can see here, I have a Codemy stack. I have a few other things running here. I also have stuff running in production. So as you can see here, I have actually multiple applications running here in production. Um, and as you can see, you know, all this is automated and uh, it's, it's beautiful. I also wanted to show you guys. So, uh, over here, uh, let me show you, uh, you know, with Rancher, we can take a look at, you know, the status of the container. So we can see here uh, how much memory the container is using. We can click into here and see more detail about each container and, uh, the health and how it's doing and all that stuff. Uh, so Rancher does a lot of work for us, including uh, cross, um, networking between hosts, between machines. Um, so you can see over here, um, you know, I can see the networking in our container, the RAM usage, the CPU usage. So obviously this is sitting idle now. Um, but yeah, if there's any activity, we'll see it here and we can also see the host, um, activity. So I can click over here and I can see how each of my machine is doing, how many CPUs I have, how much RAM I have. So all this is extremely, extremely cool. And we're going to bring all this to you guys uh, you know, in the next few episodes, that's what I'm going to talk about in this episode. So in the next few episodes, it's going to be all about Rancher. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up, how to boot up a service, how to get your application running, how to set up a test server, how to have everything automated from GitHub all connected. So you have a beautiful workflow in your company. And the beautiful thing about Rancher really is that um, it can scale up with you. So you can start with a simple installation of Rancher on one simple box. And then as you have more machines and as you have more, have more users, you can scale up and use a more powerful setup for Rancher. That is the reason why I picked Rancher is because, you know, it, it's not like the other um, services where, you know, it starts out very big and cumbersome and difficult to set up. Literally to set up Rancher, it's one command, very, very quick. 
So with that, I'm going to wrap it up for this episode and I will see you guys in the next one.